Due to the excessive discussion of P, viewer discretion is advised. We just need gold. You know, we could you can always uh, cut out some stuff which is kind of shit or anything, you know? Yeah, like the whole thing. Sunshine, it's a beautiful day for the miniverse. Sunshine and it's a beautiful day to hear us talk about piss. Sunshine and there's nothing to do. So sit right down, it's episode two, yeah, the miniverse. It's sick. A doppel doppelganger. Yeah. It's sick is what it is, man. Sick. I, I understand. Are hey, you recording this? Yeah, it's all... This is all... <laughs> Welcome to the Miniverse. This is Hollywood, baby. Wow. Quick. Welcome. No, no, seriously, like, he didn't say anything. You just press record. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that. <laughs> no warning at all. You gotta jump head first in. This is the Miniverse episode two. This is where, this is where you pull no punches. All right, that's, that's is, our motto, head, head first. This is where we reveal to everybody listening that this is all a dream. Um, I think the tagline should be get head. Get head. Oh, okay. This <laughs> tagline, sure. This, we're <laughs> commanding you to do that. Um, get, head. get head, yeah. You, you can interpret that however you would like. Yeah, the head, head's a versatile word. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> We're doing all right. That's yeah, great. Yeah. How about you? How about you, Bill? How are you doing? I'm doing I'm all right. Fine. I, I just Wednesday morning. Um, it's for you. It, it's a well, it's a Tuesday for me right now. Yeah. Um, is it, is it but still there? Mr. Yeah. Future Man. Oh wait a minute. No, it is technically Wednesday. It's it's past oh, midnight. It's past it's midnight. Still midnight. Well, it's it's, it's Wednesday night. for me. It's Wednesday night for me. It's Wednesday afternoon for Daza, and it's Tuesday night for Yokorama. So this is like yep. a we we are. We are all over the place. Mm -hmm. Except, like, you're in America, and I'm all the way here in Australia. Yeah, future. Other side of the planet. Uh, this is, like, a world, world view of anime right here. But we don't talk about anime in this one. We just talk about jack shit. No, yeah, we talk about how great I'm doing. Um, I just I just turned to the age where I can buy a beer in public. Uh, how, how long does that, that take? Like, um, a long time. A long time. It's actually twenty-one years to be exact. Yeah, but Bill, you you've bought beer on your own, right? Already at this point. Yes. All right. So I turned I turned twenty-one in January. So uh, like that's not that long ago, right? And the thing is, like I'm like, yeah, I could, I could buy beer on my own now. I don't have to like go with my brother or whatever now. And it just it annoyed me for like the first month after I turned. 21 every time i'd buy a beer they would look at my card and be like oh you just recently turned 21 oh, oh, oh i hope you're enjoying this and like every time i'd buy a beer or every time i'd buy some sort of like liquor i'd have i'd have this like like annoying like face like I I'd, I'd be very annoyed by that they're yeah. like oh like oh you're 21 like like they're they're like excited for me or something but i'm just like this happens like every day it's just oh my goodness when is this gonna end but it finally ended after like a month and yeah, people are like See, that the night of they're like oh happy birthday and you know stuff like that some people didn't and then like i was like fuck yeah yeah thanks for not wishing me happy birthday I'm embarrassed yeah, did you did bar. you um did you get a free beer um my friends bought me one that the bar itself didn't give me one yeah it's actually illegal for the bar to give, to give a yeah, free beer to give out free beer yeah they're not allowed to give out free alcohol what if they just um, want to give? What if? What if they're like, "Hey, really? That's a weird law." I yeah, guess it makes law. sense. No, I mean, like, no, no, it's, no. It's 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 not a weird law because because uh, I've actually taken a bartending course, so I actually know about this laws in my country. Um, they don't. They do that because a they want to keep track of who's drunk what, and if it's the money doesn't count up to how much alcohol is being given off, then there's some problems that happen. That makes sense. And there's some yeah. But I didn't. Plus, you're not legally get... allowed to get your patrons drunk because if they get drunk, they're more likely to buy more alcohol and be more rowdy and then shoot someone because that's what happens in America. Well, then there should be a law against the urinals that have video games on them. Have you seen those? <laughs> I actually haven't. The what? There are. Where do you wear? In the where? UK. What? what now, what's this? Yeah. 
in the UK and now in uh, one of the local baseball stadiums here for like one of the minor league baseball teams, they're installing these urinals that have uh, P uh, activated video games. Um, oh, oh, I've seen those in Japan. There's yeah. one from Sega where you have to pee and you have to try and I think you have to uh, pee on something and you get like achievements yeah. and stuff. This, it's so weird. This is like achievement this, unlocked. There's like yeah, no, you peed. There's like a skiing game where if you want to ski to the yeah. left, you pee in the left side of the urinal. If you want to pee on the right, you pee in the le- on the right side of the urinal. Uh, and it's just insane. And they have they have them in bars over there in the UK. Like that's that's where they're primarily put. Like I think, I think they started in Japan though. They probably started everything. Yeah, probably. Started. Started. That seems like a weird technology that Japan would have. They would probably have one where you pee in it and you get a free pair of girl panties that comes out of the freaking urinal. Um, but, I would uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> but uh well yeah like could you imagine that you go to the bar and like oh i want to get more beer so i can pee more so i can go beat your high score at skiing like that's something the, the is, Spe- it's skiing. <laughs> if you get me. really drunk Funny. i can imagine the guys being like hey man i'm gonna go pee i wonder if you beat my high score and they have like fights when they get really drunk you each other, they, try to they piss all over each other <laughs> you can't, they're like you can't beat me man <laughs> You go, oh, you go in the bathroom and you just look at the urinal line, and it's probably just a bunch of dudes swaying back and forth, like in a synchronized dude, you, dude, ski dance. If, if it's in a if it's in a bar and, and this game is to like actually like piss in a certain place, you have to be like you, you can't be drunk when you're doing that. When you're drunk, you're gonna be pissing all over the. If, place. if you're drunk, your your <laughs> skiing guy is gonna be all over the slope. <laughs> He's gonna like be all over that mountain, you know. So. But I mean, like people are gonna want to pee, so they're gonna. Get I would not them. want to work Jeez. as the guy that cleans that bathroom after after that day's end. Have you have you guys seen bathrooms at the end of nights, like after trading? They, oh, they're the most disgusting things. Imagine ever. having a ski pee in game in there. Yo, but this, the this worst is, ones this are is, the male ones. This is America. The worst ones are bathrooms at the beginning of the night. This um, this is not I, a land I, of clean bathrooms. Um. I just want to preface here. I only went to the bathroom after closing time. But the female bathrooms are just so disgusting. Like, you think guys can't aim? You think guys can't aim? Girls just pee on the floor. I, there's, like, a little <laughs> toilet there. They must just sit, like, somewhere in the middle of the floor and just piss. Because you walk in there and there's just piss everywhere. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> This is a very this disturbing is the, this verse. The piss Royal Rumble. We what talk the... about like this fat guy who's like falls asleep, like take a break before he goes gambling and like gambles all his uh, life savings. And now we're talking well, about like chicks pissing. I said that episode two are pulling no punches. This um. That's... Let's talk about something. Uh, cool. So wait, okay, wait. Let's actually, go back I was to the going, pee. I was, let's I go back to the pee real quick. Okay. Right. Pete, you want to go back to the pee? All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay, what go. is it? Go. Is it just like a lagoon? Like when you walk into women's bathroom, is it like a? Like uh, a you know how um like I don't know over there like over in America, but um in bathrooms over here you've got like the little like thing that all the water drains into. Oh. Like, like showers and it slopes into there. Right. Most bathrooms over uh, here in Australia, male and female, have that. Like so, so the actual, like public they... ones. Like yeah. I remember, I remember my um school bathroom, uh because the guys were just idiots. They try to piss into it instead of going to the urinals. Idiots. But the girls uh, bathroom in this pub that I was working at, they had like a really big one. Like it was bigger than the guys once. It was it was really weird. And all the pee was just going straight into it. So it wasn't that they like peed into this hole on the floor because you think you'll do that if you want to piss on the floor. But no, they pissed some random place on the side and then all the pee like moved into the middle so like it was like a river of pee uh, the there's bar. like so much of it that is so jammed <laughs> so and no, and then, yeah it got jammed so it was actually like a oh. flooding of pee what on the, the floor oh, so that's like so, the worst so, thing you can picture so dude. these are bathrooms like in, in in the pub that don't have showers correct uh they had showers they had showers were, were these drains don't... anywhere near those showers no, no, they haven't been like the middle of the floor. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask. So, like, Australia has precautionary measures because they know people are just gonna outright piss on the floor. <laughs> I don't think that's the case, but you guys are yeah. smart. Let's pretend that's the case because 
That's a good case. Because here, I, I swear, like, when you walk into a bathroom, like, say you go into a concert venue or something, and you go in a bathroom, and the floor is sticky. The whole floor is sticky. There's no way in hell, like, oh, somebody spilled syrup, or somebody was, was eating their leftovers from the Waffle House at the concert venue bathroom. That's definitely just all piss. Like, nothing else piss. is making that floor sticky. That's such a weird thing. Oh. It's like the floors by the door are sticky, by the sinks are sticky. What the... What the hell? <laughs> it could be it could be drinks. Uh because I Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I yeah. To club, I went to a club and they had five dollar Skittles and vodka, like shots, which taste amazing by the way. Um and those are those are really sticky, so they could just drop them. People just let's, over... go, let's go have a shot and just trash it on the floor. Well, they are five dollars. That's cheap here for a shot, so I don't think it really matters to them. Yeah. Uh, or they miss their mouths. That's always a possibility. Well, that but happens. I mean, like, but I mean, in this case, like the concert venue that I'm thinking of in particular, I was there twice in the last few months. Like the the venue has it um, set up where, like, if you go to buy a beer, they have like the over twenty one section where you have to get stamped to go in there, and you have to drink the beer in there. You can't take it out because they don't want people yeah. going in there and buying drinks and taking them out to people who are younger. So like, there's like. This in this particular bathroom, there were no drinks being taken in there, unless people are buying sodas at their at the actual concession stand and just going, ah, this this Pepsi tastes too much like Coke, and they just dump it on the freaking floor, <laughs> um, dump it all over the walls, or like, that, that spray happens, it everywhere, or they dump the Coke down and then pee on it. I mean, that's, I mean, who knows? I don't know <laughs> what's going on. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, but I did want to say that actually on my twenty first birthday, I I did get a free beer though. Um, but the thing is, they didn't actually give me the beer. The waitress, she paid for the beer ah, herself. Yeah, yeah. See Maybe. that over yeah. here, you can't legally do yeah. that either. But yeah, you you got their moves. Yo. Yeah, I had to. I had to flirt out a little bit, man. She didn't give me the first one. It was like the third beer that she paid for. Oh, she's good. <laughs> she wanted some. Was she cute? She is. Um, she was she's... a little. She was like twenty five. She's she's a few years older than me, but she's good. Bad. She watched she your videos. She's, uh, she was good. She was good. Here, the thanks, waitress for, thanks for doing a review of Monster. Here's a free beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wink. Uh, but going back to what you guys were saying with the uh, being carded and being like, oh, happy birthday thing. Mm-hmm. When I went on my birthday, when I was 18, I never got carded. So I never got any happy birthdays from people. They were just oh. like, oh, here's your beer. <laughs> The thing is, at this point, people stop carding me because I have like a like a full on beard right now, and people just like look at me. Oh, this guy's probably thirty years old. Here, here's the beard. Stay I've it. never been card- the only time I was ever carded was at the casino that I went to, like my casino, and I only went in there like for five minutes. Well, here it's a little bit more strict, maybe. I don't know. Usually, like at like Seven Elevens, your know, mini marts, places like that, you're not gonna get carded. Like even. Yeah, it, the people that look like sixteen, they're probably not getting carded because it's more business for them. You know, they don't, they're not really gonna. They're just gonna like sell it to them and just. Get I it, yeah. I got carded everywhere I went because my facial hair is preteen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're like fourteen. Yeah, that's probably why. Look at this. Who's this fourteen year old who's obscenely tall walking into the into the bar? Let's 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 grill. Yeah, up. but more places like I guess maybe like re- some restaurants, some higher end restaurants, like I don't know. Um, not really like high end restaurants, but kind of like middle middle restaurants. Not like the cheap cheap like buffets, but like and not like the really expensive stuff, but kind of in the middle. They card you, and uh, of course, just actual like supermarkets and stuff. They 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 card you as well. See, we don't we can't sell um, alcohol in our supermarkets. Oh, you can't. Well, not not here in um, Adelaide at least. I know in Queensland you can, but Queensland are weird. Queensland a lot is like that cousin that you. That you, that you know of and that you see sometimes and can be pretty cool, but you don't want to really associate yourself with them. <laughs> That's that. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. <laughs> so I think they're trying to bring in uh, because we're having a Costco, I think it's going to be opening up in Adelaide very soon. So they want to sort of bring in the law where you can buy alcohol. Yeah, because the Costco, in... that's that's pretty big. I and mean, people are going to be buying them yeah. in like huge, huge bulks <laughs> beer. <laughs> But I don't think they will let it through. Not here in Adelaide, at least. We're very, we're very conservative, mm-hmm. which is annoying. But, but you piss on your floors. Nice. No, the <laughs> girls piss on your floors. The girls. The guys aren't that bad, actually. We can aim. <laughs> Even when we're drunk. It's a skill. It is a skill. So, the only time where you can never aim is in the mornings when we wake up. Well, you, you, know, what, you know what I'm looking forward to? 
uh, esports with these urinal games. You know how they got. <laughs> you know, it, could be, it, it beats France. out. It beats out like League of Legends. Yeah, cares about so League of Legends. It's urinal all about pitch. like skiing, peace skiing. Oh yeah, they got uh, a cool. It's like a five million dollar prize. You know, they have like a team of five, five versus five, peace skiing. I wonder if they're gonna like. I wonder if Twitch will let them stream that. That would be. You know what? Yeah. Get it. I was just, yeah. I was just oh, going there. Yeah, that's good. Pun of, pun of year two. Pun <laughs> Best of the year. Pun of 2013. Welcome to the Pun of the Year Awards, everybody. Um, We're starting at it. But uh, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a crazy world out there. Uh, this is the worst, the worst like miniverse ever. Like, this is a good one. one. I like. This is it. a great. Universe. Dude, talking about piss. It's, like, it's a miniverse it's piss, not- piss edition. <laughs> <laughs> Um, All right, can I tell you can I tell you another pissing story? Yeah, hit us with more piss stories. Yeah, the more the, the more piss, the better. All right, so I was out the other weekend uh, because that was one of the only times I go out because that's, I had money. The YouTube's money let me go out because I had enough of it. Yeah. And um, there's this like street. It's called Heimlich Street. Uh, the McDonald's in Heimlich Street was actually classed as a third world country at one stage. I'm not kidding. Like, right? They had like uh, the UN come in and say it was a third world country it was really weird it was it is that dirty it was a bad it's ugh, disgusting you don't go into that matters um the girl's cute there but no uh there was a i was walking down with a few friends look behind me not a fr- not my friends but this, this girl behind us she stopped and she got she yelled out i'm gonna piss her so she pulls everything <laughs> down and starts pissing on the sidewalk oh my god Right, and all of us are just like we all turn back because we're like, what, what, the, what the fuck is going on? So we look back, and they just go pissing. Right, it's we're like, well, firstly we're like, ooh, but whatever. But then this other guy from who we don't know, he just passed, pushed her over, which <laughs> <laughs> mid piss, which which was funny. Oh man, and she right, started pissing up in the air. So, like, the piss was, like, going up in the air and coming straight back. To, uh, yeah. Oh, it was like a piss geyser. It was like a... the... Oh, my gosh, man. That's the... You saw yeah. that in person. You know what? I saw that. You, know you, what? Don't, you don't make that shit up. At least, at the... least she had the courtesy to let everyone know that she's going to piss here. <laughs> hey, I'm going to piss here. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. We'll just back away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like, hey, yeah, sure, go piss there. That's, thanks for telling me. You know. Yeah, I'm not walking there ever again. <laughs> yeah, never. I'll avoid, I'll avoid you in that spot. And, and well, you... the, the, the funniest thing about it, I think, was that it was actually outside the police station on the street. Because the street is so bad that they actually have a police station on it because people get shot. It's one of the only places and you were just taking a stroll over there. Well, yeah, because that's the where all the clubs are. What, what else are you going to do? That's, that's scary, man. Australia is scary, dude. They Australia is everywhere. very pee. Very pee people get yeah, that's it's, national national p. The women in Australia are very open with their with their piss. That's uh yeah, uh, very eye opening. Um, but anyway, yeah, she got arrested. Sorry. Yeah, well, can you imagine that? Can you imagine like that on your record, like public urination? That's the worst. <laughs> What's embarrassing thing? <laughs> she has to go off like those um kids certificates because to work with kids, they're just like. Did you did you get really drunk and pissed somewhere? She's like, what? What do you mean? I don't Yo, remember that. Like, she, well, she, on your record, it says public urination. She's like, oh. She probably wasn't. Oh, yeah, even... I did do that. It's a piss guy, so... She probably wasn't. <laughs> She's now no <known laughs> piss guy. Like, oh shit! There was that one time when I fell over and I pissed all over myself. She probably oh. wasn't even drunk. She probably just likes to piss on the sidewalks. That was probably I like her most bold I adventure would... yet. Oh. Her friends like, go piss in front of the police <laughs> station, and. She... She oh, has like one of those books, uh, you know, where she she like things she has to do before before she dies, or things yeah. she has to do in her life. And she's like, she totally crossed that out. It's so, on after. pavement. She got it. She got it, man. I wonder how many times still were piss in this episode. I don't know, man. <laughs> Show us someone in the comments will count it for yeah, us. Yeah, someone in the comments, please count the amount that we have all three of us combined stated the word piss. piss. Piss and pee. Piss and pee counts. Pee counts. Uh, so count has two. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, why, why don't we talk about something a bit uh, normal? 
Yeah, let's talk uh, about something. After something. everybody has left, let's yeah. talk about something normal. And they, yeah. they pissed off. I want, I want to say, like, you know how like, the Yogs cast? You know how the Yogs cast? They have, like, these animations that people animate, fan animation. I want to see some of the pissed guys. That yeah, would that be story's the perfect. Best that's, best. that's perfect for that. Animate animate the piss geyser, guys. <laughs> you can, like, you can put Bill's face on the guy that pushes her over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, like what? Off of the piss comments and discussion, um, I don't have anything else. <laughs> That's all we got for you guys. <laughs> wow. Um, um, okay. What what animes have you been watching this week? Let's just let's just talk about nothing. that. Actually, yeah, I haven't watched anything either. Um. Okay. Yeah, is... I, <laughs> I caught up to to Game of Thrones and then that was it. Oh, that starts. Yeah, uh, man, Sunday. Uh, next week, I'm and that's still... when uh, One Walking Dead ends. Game of Thrones. Yep. How perfect is that? Damn. Dude, Actually, that's... that Sunday we're getting both Walking Dead and Game of yeah, Thrones. Yeah, the that's finale like of Walking of Dead world. and the premiere of Game of Thrones. Uh, but yeah, day. I'm not gonna spoil anything in Walking Dead. But oh my gosh, this latest episode. Guys, guys, yeah. guys! You also get Doctor Who. Starts back. Oh yeah, fans of Doctor Who. Yeah, um, I am We're not. Gonna be so... Nerds are so spoiled <clears throat> this weekend. I think it's Easter weekend actually as well. It is. It is. I mean, it is a lot like... of cool peanut butter. It's candy. a three day weekend. We get Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, and Doctor Who. That's just, oh my gosh, better than Christmas. Yeah. Yo, and people get a miniverse. Oh yeah, that's that's that's, that's the best part. Yeah. Uh, this this miniverse, yeah. This, especially this one. The piss edition. Yeah. The piss edition. P- piss verse. But no, um, I've I, I, I've been watching uh, AKB 0048. I've caught up to that. Oh, yeah. The second season or whatever, right? Both of them. Oh, both of them. Oh, you didn't I, watch the first season before. Well, I watched like the first two episodes and then I fell out of it. You know how sometimes you just fall out of anime? Yeah. Um, I just fall, fell out of it. And I noticed it was like a crunchy roll. So I was like, oh, I'll just watch this. Finished it in like two days. I finished um, the latest episode this morning. And then I was just like, I'm going to wait four days for the next one. I don't know how I feel about this. But it's really good. Like, I, I didn't think it would be this intense, but it's really good. Yeah, I've really got to get back and actually like marathoning anime. I've been all about pretty much playing games. League of Legends and a ton of that stuff. Uh, but apart from that, I've been playing a lot of Left 4 Dead 2, actually. Oh. And I've been I've been finding out the, the, the huge world of different maps right now that there is. And I've, I I've played that, I've played to... Minecraft. I, I, I as well. Dude, I've played I played the Minecraft map, which is pretty much Minecraft, and you're you're the shape of a Minecraft character. You have Minecraft weapons and zombies are Minecraft zombies. It's freaking insane. But the witch is Justin Bieber. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. What? Yeah, and he went. He's wearing pampers. What a twist! <laughs> I know. Oh man, yeah. There's an edition where you can actually have Justin B, uh, the witch as the chicken. It's kind of weird, but yeah, it's it's really cool. It's really cool. I've been playing that. I mean, I played the uh, Death Mountain, the Zelda, the Zelda one. It was really awesome because there was actually like puzzles in that Left 4 Dead level where seriously you'd get stuck for a really long time. And uh, it was really good. And right now I'm going to be playing the Crash Bandicoot one probably within uh, the next couple of days. So Sweet. Left 4 Dead is so much better than I thought it was because I got tired of just playing just the regular stuff. But with all these maps and like mods and stuff, it's just freaking insane. Hell yeah, man. Speaking of video games, I believe you said we have an email question. Oh, yeah, uh, we do, don't we? That relates to video games. We do. We have an uh, email question from Nico Zoo. Who asks us? Uh, let me just get up the email again. I remember who gave it to us, but I don't remember what the email said. Uh, <laughs> I'm terrible. No, I don't want to go. No, not not that not that Gmail account. Stupid thing. Uh, where is it? Come on, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. Uh, where is it? In, the question is: Is there a more confusing game franchise storyline than Kingdom Hearts? If so, which franchise? Now, before Have any of you guys play Kingdom Hearts, that, this yeah. is exactly where I was going with this. Yeah, um, I yeah, played, played. I played the first game. 
I I had the second game. I never beat it. Um, I was going to get back into this franchise until until I took a look and saw that there's like four gajillion different games and spinoffs and entries in the series on like three or four different platforms. And I thought to myself, well, what? So I need to buy the DS version. There's a PSP one. There's like, there's like a 3DS one. But the thing is, like, you don't really. Those are just spinoffs. You can just play. Yeah, with yeah but, a, but, 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 but but apparently, things how there hasn't been a Kingdom Hearts three yet. Apparently, some of those are canon. Um, yeah, they're canon. They're just side stories, though. But yeah, it's like Assassin's Creed. But that's insane. <laughs> that's like if I want. Like it's canon, yeah. So like that's like what, the, what the heck? Well, that's where this question comes from. Is there any? Yeah, any... they they have a storyline spanning like four different platforms. Um, well, so, yeah. Uh, uh, I I put up. Uh, uh, I said well when we were discussing this earlier, like just before, I said Zelda was probably the most confusing because firstly, what? Secondly, they brought out that like history timeline thing. Which tried to make sense of it. It didn't really, but they tried. And then, when is it? I think it's Adventure of Link. I think that's the second one. And then it spins off into like Ocarina of Time, then Wind Waker, and uh, another one. I think there's the CDI games as well. And yeah. Yeah. I, 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 haven't, per- I haven't personally played all the Zelda games. Uh, I think I've played Ocarina, Majora's Mask, and Wind Waker. And that's it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but that's what I think is most I can weird. See that. So. I can see that if you're trying to connect them all. Um, well, they, they say they're connected, just different universes. Turn your brain into pudding. Yeah. Oh, I'm just saying here that Kingdom Hearts has a mobile game as well. Yeah! Uh-huh. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts game was developed exclusively for Vcast. What, what's Vcast? A uh, Verizon's broadband service. Oh lord! You know what? They did everything in their power not to make Kingdom Hearts three. Um, yeah, what is up with that? That's like one of the most requested games ever. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts. It's, on, it's so popular. It skipped a whole generation of consoles. No, it didn't. Did it? Yeah. yeah the PS two was uh, the um, last Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts two was PS two, and they didn't release one at all. I mean, like the handheld, if you count those. <laughs> But yeah, no PS3 Wait. version. Maybe PS4, possibly. You think? What oh, if that's like don't... a launch title for PS4? That would be freaking. I, I, I doubt it. I think maybe... that would that would get so many people to buy the console though. That would be very good like marketing idea. That would, yeah, maybe. Everybody would buy PS4. See, I, I would have thought that they would do it on um Wii U, but because mm-hmm. the Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Dot Drop. drop Distance was released uh, for 3DS, but then uh, again, uh, the Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix was uh, for PlayStation 3. So yeah, but that's that's the first game, but just better graphics. I guess. Yo, do they add content to that? Uh, did they? It's, it's 1.5, so they... no, it's it's the Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, uh, a replied Chain of Memories, and um, it has the high <laughs> definition cutscenes of Kingdom Hearts. 358 slash two days. Wait, Those are the, like the weirdest things. Was that a real thing you just said? That that's what I just got from Wikipedia. <laughs> which is which is syndicated. I thought you were making that crap up. Like, oh, it's got this from Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop 358 slash two. Those are no, real, actually is that's a name. real stuff. No, the, the the Kingdom Hearts 358 slash two days is the one for Nintendo DS. Yeah. Which is set between Kingdom Hearts one and two. It's it's ridiculous, man. That's why. No, no, that is the most confusing. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't think like the storyline might not be too confusing, but the names the names are confusing. Like, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I I personally haven't played a game, um, where like you know I was like, what the hell just happened? Kind of kind of deal, um. I mean, there have been games where, like, I finished it and I've been like, well, that was shit. Like, you know, or, or that story didn't, wasn't, like, it wasn't good. Like, I, like, but, like, I've never encountered one where I, where it was just like, I, I can't follow this. I don't know what I'm doing. 
um, type of deal. But uh, I think if I played Kingdom Hearts again, through, you know, and try to play them all, I, I think I probably would feel that way. Um, well, apparently, um, Kingdom Hearts is made by the same people that make Final Fantasy. And the Final Fantasy, yeah, Square, is what Square Enix and stuff. That's yeah, they're trying the Final Fantasy franchise is what they're trying to pump out at the moment. Of course, they're doing a very good job of that, but yeah, yeah. Kingdom Hearts is it's a great game franchise. Um, and it's very popular. It's it's really good. It's a really oh, good RPG. Oh, if they're making new Kingdom Hearts because it's all Disney characters, they could have Star Wars and um, yeah, yeah that's what some people have been uh, talking about in some forums I've been reading. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. No, they can incorporate Darth, like Darth Vader is gonna be in it. Like, it's gonna be. That's gonna be yeah, great. but there's been a lot of, of uh, new Disney stuff that's come out in between the Mars games. So. Yeah, but the thing is, there's no like Spider-Man though, is there in, in the like new games? Because Marvel is owned by Disney as well. No, they. Are they... Disney as well. Marvel is owned by Disney. Yeah, that's right. So, in like the latest game, the latest version of the game, I don't even know. Probably a 3DS game. Is was there any Marvel characters? I. I... Oh, I just got rid of the um, thing. I'll have a look. Yo, I um, want to play Sora versus but, Wolverine. I I would think though that someone like a uh, Spider Man. I think Activision have the rights to the games to Spider Man though. Oh, you you think it's kind of like split up? All right. Yeah, well, you know how Marvel, uh, the Marvel like film franchises, uh, most of them like I think Sony owns the film rights to Spider Man. Uh, Fox owns the rights to the X-Men ones. And uh, I don't know what Fantastic Four are owned by. What about, the amazing, are... what about the amazing Spider-Man? It's still Spider-Man, dude. Is it still, still Sony? It's still Sony, yeah. The reason why they make those films so much, like all the Spider-Man films, is because if they don't, the rights will lapse back to Marvel Studios, and then Marvel Studios will be able to make other stuff with it, which I think it would be really cool to watch the Avengers and Spider-Man well, well... Wasn't the point of remaking the Spider-Man into Amazing Spider-Man so they could connect it to the Avengers? No. They can't. Sony owns the rights to the Spider-Man and they didn't want Marvel Studios to get the rights back to them. So That's there's gonna be there's gonna be no Spider-Man in any Avengers series in any of Well, if they don't make um, a new Spider-Man film within like six years, or they don't have one in production, then yeah, it will relapse back to Marvel. So that's why they made Amazing Spider-Man. And that's why they're making a second one. All right. Yeah. Damn, it's, it's, that's the same reason why they keep making X-Men films. Because even though the third one was really bad, and then they made Origins Wolverine, which was equally as bad, they keep making X-Men films. Because yeah, but First like, Class was freaking good. It was oh, first good. Class was amazing. I can't wait I, for the second one. I can't wait for the second one, really. <laughs> I'm wait, I can't wait for Wolverine as well. Wolverine oh, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Good. Because that's his um, Japan story arc, if I recall correctly. Yeah, actually, the, the new X-Men ones are really good. And um, I'm really looking forward to more of them. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man I enjoyed a lot as well, actually. A lot more than the first trilogy. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to find... Uh, there's no information here about, like, uh, Marvel. Probably, probably not, then. I doubt it. I, I wouldn't say so, because I think the games are actually owned as licenses by other people at the moment. Disney might get the rights back to them eventually. Uh, but that would be very interesting. Um, we have yeah, Sora and like Goofy fighting Spider-Man and Wolverine or something. That'd be, That'd be that really would just cool. make the story even more confusing. Um, <laughs> so I hope that happens. I, I, I can't wait for the day because they could actually do this. They could actually go into Tatooine and have like a whole story on Tatooine and have like stormtroopers and stuff. That'd be cool. Man, Kingdom Hearts 3, that needs to happen. That's right? maybe maybe that's why it's delayed. They were waiting for the for them to buy the rights. They were just stuff. sitting there like, yo, maybe Disney buys the rights to Star Wars. And then they went nuts and now they're in they're developing it. Yeah. But it's been it's been a decade, right? Since the second one? No, it's been it's been less than a decade. Uh... Well, apparently it says here that Kingdom Hearts 3 has yet to begin development due to the series creator Tetsuya Nomura focus on Final Fantasy versus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those games. Those Final games. Fantasy versus? That game's been delayed like 15 times. <laughs> yeah. we, won't, we won't get into uh, uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah, this is. No, this... I've never beaten a Final Fantasy game. Really? I've, I've, I've only played one, and I think that was the PS1 version of one of them, which came with like nine discs. It was probably Final Fantasy. Well, then again, all of them did. It was. Oh, uh, it usually it came was with like either, four discs. Four it discs. was either seven, eight, or nine. 
Um, seven, seven had four discs. Um, seven is a really good one, but I, I don't know if I would replay it now because it's so old. It, I, I can't bring myself to beat a JRPG. Um, I, like I don't know what it is, man. Like I, I'll sit there and I'll play <clears throat> like other games for like eighty something hours. You know what I mean? Like long other long games. But for some reason, I've never been able to bring myself to finish a JRPG. I know I'm probably missing out on some great stuff. Um, and, and I was going to buy, you know, Cooney, um, you know, the, the Studio Ghibli game. Oh, I want that um, so bad. And, but, I, but, I, but I haven't bought it yet because the more I think about it, like, am I really going to finish this damn game? Like, it's long. Um, it's, it, it is, to its core, a JRPG, the way it plays. Um, will I beat it? So I haven't spent sixty bucks on it yet. I'm waiting to see if it goes down in price. Then maybe I'll buy it. But I've never yeah. beaten a JRPG, man. It is a strange, and I like I... them. That's the thing. Like I don't hate those games. I just, I just can't bring myself to ever finish one. The only JRPG I... that I could actually go back and replay is probably Chrono Chrono Trigger. That's a really good one. That's a classic. See, I I haven't really played any JRPG like that many JRPGs because they I just they don't interest me. <laughs> Uh, I got uh, my my mom for Christmas one year got me Disengaya. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Oh, Disengaya, uh, those things are grind fest, man. Which I I that she's like, oh, it's ad- it looks like anime. He'll enjoy that. I think Vic was like, like Disengaya three, I think. But that's yeah. uh, I've got to talk a little bit. Uh, I I played about seven hours of it and I hated every minute of it because I knew you had to like take your time to get into it. I just couldn't get into it. I just didn't enjoy any of it, so I took it back and got a refund. But Pokemon is com- like a JRPG. They classify it as a JRPG. Pokemon is like a whole genre on itself now. I'm but <laughs> I, I love my Pokemon games. Yeah. I could play them for hours. Yeah, the only thing that really annoys me at the moment is that I want to go back and play a few of them. But my Pokemon, I don't want to get rid of them. I want to trade them over when next year I come. And I'm get my definitely 3DS. buying a 3DS for those new ones. Yes. <clears throat> um, yeah. Well, not even just for Pokemon, even just for Animal Crossing and Luigi's Mansion. And Fire you Run. tried Tales of the Abyss on the 3DS. Um, yes, I'll also be getting that as well. Um, that's again, a JRPG. Uh, JRPG. I'll not, I won't beat it, but I'll buy it. Just, yeah, that's a JRPG. I want to get Kitty Icarus. And um, uh, which one? I think it was that Sonic Generations was actually quite good. I played that. I forgot about Kitty Icarus. Yeah, Kid Icarus is like the main. That's like the main 3DS game I think so far. Which one? Kid Icarus. That was like the, the thing that they announced the 3DS. Oh, that, that one, Kid Icarus and Ocarina of Time, I think they're the two big ones. Yeah, but Ocarina of Time is is a remake. So. Yeah, but it's still it was really big. Yeah, they, like, they, 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 they 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 that so big. They redid all the textures. Yeah, it was exactly. remade. It was it was, really it, was it was and it was actually it looked nice. Yeah, I'm probably gonna when I get a 3DS, I probably will buy. It. Actually, I'll create enough time because that's pretty. That's it's still probably, pretty cool. To actually, it's probably cheap by now. I mean, might as well. It's it's Zelda. It's never gonna be cheap, dude. No, it, it's a Nintendo game. Nintendo games don't go. Yeah, plus it's, it, like Zelda, like Mario games, they're always like like twenty bucks. They they never go under twenty bucks. Doesn't matter what Mario game. <laughs> uh, twenty bucks. They don't go under like fifty here. Well, you're in Australia, you guys. Everything's expensive over there. Well, I um. You buy manga for twenty dollars. That's insane, dude. <laughs> oh, they just brought out the new One Piece uh, omnibus. I buy manga for a dollar, and I think that's expensive. Hmm? I buy manga for a dollar. <laughs> Suck. Hey, but at least you get all this ton of free anime, though. So it, in the end, it's it's uh it equals everything out. It's not free. I have to review it eventually. Yeah, but you would. <laughs> you, it's fine. I've been doing a very good job. Plus, you get paid for reviewing it, so <laughs> you make money. So that's a whole different story. I guess. That's I'm just yeah. jealous. I'm just jealous. <laughs> that's what I am. <laughs> Oh, um, oh, they um they announced over here. Um, they announced the Bucky Monogatari. They're gonna make it. It's actually an art book where the discs come in like an art book, and it's like a proper book. It looks so good. I can't wait to get my copy of it. That's pretty cool. That's uh, it's probably gonna be expensive, isn't it? No, it's gonna be the same price as what they normally oh. are. Yeah, Bucky Monogatari here is freaking. Freaking expensive. But that's the DVD. I don't think they're having a Blu-ray version, which annoys the crap out of me because Bucky Monogatari in HD looks amazing. You you can only get I think it's like 150 bucks for Bucky Monogatari here in America. And I think it's only on Blu-ray over there as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 
<sighs> but we could wrap this up, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for listening <laughs> to the yeah. Miniverse. Uh, if don't forget to email us at networkaniverse at gmail.com. Yes, yes, and you can email us about any topic and we'll most likely discuss it. Yeah, we'll Trust discuss me. anything. Any we just talk about anything. piss for 25 Wait. minutes. We can talk about whatever you want. Email it. Yeah, anything. We're, we can we could start a conversation off of anything. We talked about like bathrooms for yeah. like, 15 minutes. We talked uh, about troughs in the grounds of Australian yeah. bathrooms that women pee into. Oh, yeah, guys, thank you. Thank you for listening. I'm Yokorama, and I'm here with uh, a couple of guys. What are you, who are you? Who are you guys? I thought I was the host of any of this. Dude, we're all hosts. I just I just want to end this already. So go hey, play I'm Bill. Life. I'm the host of the <laughs> universe and the miniverse. Um, I'm here joined by two other guys. Who are you? Right, okay, now your turn, Dazza. Well, I am uh, I am uh, the Doctor Dazza, and I'm a host of the miniverse and the universe. And I'm joined by two lovely co-hosts who look quite dashing today, if I must say. That's Thanks. why. He, that's why he does all the endings and starts starts yeah. the podcast. I am Bill, at... one of the hosts of the Mini Miniverse. <laughs> Shut up, Bill. Shut up. Thank you I'm, for joining. I am Mo. My us. name is Mo. Um, and it's, we have Moistly here. Shut Moistly. Up, <laughs> Moistly. <laughs> so it's Mo Karama. Mo Karama. Mo Mo Karama. That's my next Mo Karama username. I tagged that that's your vlog channel. Because you incorporate your name in them, it's really personal. It no, can... no, his vlog channel has to be like Yokorama VFX or Yokorama Gaming or something. Or my like, what? my vlog Yoko... channel would have a name that it's like probably like Yokorama's art or something like that, and it's gonna be a vlog <laughs> channel. It's gonna be completely like it won't but have anything to do. All your other ones are completely different. Like Yokorama News is like it's weekly first anime impressions reviews. and shit. Yeah, uh, you can make it Yokorama. Gaming. Hotel reviews, and it could be about your. It could be vlog. It's, my name, my main channel is Yokorama Game Talk, and I have I talk about anime on it, but I also have a gaming channel. I don't know why. It, Which is Yokorama Talk. Well, it was Yokorama Talks, I think, and then you made it into the first impression. I don't get you sometimes. It's awesome. This is You're so confusing. I think the most confusing genre, like franchise, is the Yokorama franchise. It is the Yokorama franchise. Yep. Yeah, We've discovered that. it. Yeah, we've done. These are the Kingdom Hearts. Goodbye, everybody. Nikki, 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 that is your answer. Baby, we're out.